as the final seconds of the year tick away, many look forward to the promise of a fresh start and joyful celebrations. Yet, the shadowy corners of New Year's Eve hold tales that chill the bones and unsettle the soul. These are not the stories of cheerful resolutions or midnight kisses. Instead, they are accounts of eerie happenings and sinister encounters that have turned the joyous occasion into a night of terror for some. Gather around as we delve into three really creepy true New Year's Eve horror stories where the festive lights dim and the stroke of midnight ushers in more than just a new year. A few years back, while still in college, I attended a New Year's Eve party at a friend's house on campus. After a brief visit to my own apartment, I arrived early at the party, enjoying the company of close friends as more guests trickled in. The evening started off enjoyable and familiar, filled with the laughter and chatter of college friends. However, as the night progressed and more people arrived, the atmosphere shifted. The large university crowd filled the house, many of whom I didn't recognize. Amidst the revelry, a man approached me. He was in his late twenties. With a tall, somewhat muscular build, he initiated a conversation, which quickly turned uncomfortable as he asked me to leave with him. Despite my refusal, he persisted, following me through the increasingly crowded party. By midnight, I'd had enough. I informed one of my friends about the persistent man and decided to leave for my nearby apartment. Initially, I thought I'd evaded him as I stepped outside, but as I began walking, the sound of footsteps told me he was following. Despite my attempts to walk faster, his presence persisted, a threatening figure in the night. In a bid to lose him, I took a detour through a stranger's yard, zigzagging through the neighborhood until I finally shook him off. Relief washed over me as I continued home, aware of how the night's festive spirit had turned into a chilling tale of escape. This New Year's Eve wasn't about celebration. It was about the unsettling realization that safety isn't always a given, and that sometimes the scariest stories are the ones we live through ourselves. Upon safely arriving home, I thought the unsettling experience from the party was behind me. The next day, back at my parents' house, a new wave of unease washed over me as I received a Snapchat ad from a Jake who quickly revealed himself to be the same man from the party. My decision was swift. I blocked him, wanting to sever any ties with someone who had made me feel so threatened. But the situation escalated that night. From my bedroom window, I noticed an unfamiliar car parked unusually close to our driveway. As I approached for a closer look, the driver's door opened and a man stepped out. My heart sank as he made his way towards our house. It was the same man from the night before. How he found me, especially so far from campus, was beyond my understanding. Alarmed, I rushed to alert my parents and called the police. We cautiously peered from a window in the back of the house trying to track his movements. The realization that he had followed me to such a personal and supposed safe space was horrifying. As we waited for the police, the weight of the situation settled in. This was no longer a story of an uncomfortable encounter at a party. It had escalated into a sinister tale of pursuit and intrusion, one that I never expected to unfold in the quiet safety of my parents' home. As the night unfolded into a living nightmare, the man from the party, an unwelcome shadow from the past, had followed me to my parents' home, hiding somewhere in the dark recesses of the backyard. He eluded our sight, but not our fears. 
the arrival of the police brought a tense relief, their search revealing the intruder before he could escape. The realization that he had tracked me through Snapchat, exploiting the brief moment of digital connection, sent shivers down my spine. In those long minutes of uncertainty and fear, I realized how close danger had come, lurking just beyond the safety of our home. The incident left an indelible mark, a cautionary tale of privacy and vigilance in an increasingly connected world. The past echoes of New Year's Eve celebrations were of a different kind, filled with family, games, and the innocent excitement of staying up late. One particular year, when I was around 12 years old, the night proceeded as usual with laughter and movies until everyone retired to bed. Alone in the living room, I finished my movie and headed to my bedroom. The moonlit tranquility of the night was shattered by the sight of a woman standing in our front yard. Her presence was as unexpected as it was unsettling. As she noticed me and began moving closer, fear took hold. Without any covers on my large second floor window, I felt exposed and vulnerable, ducking away from sight. I hoped fervently for her departure. Minutes stretched into an eternity as I lay hidden on the floor. Then, the sound of something hitting my window startled me back to alertness. She was throwing objects, a bizarre and frightening escalation. The safety of my room on the second floor offered little comfort against the inexplicable actions of the woman outside. Each thud against the window was a chilling reminder of the thin veil between the safety of home and the unknown dangers of the world outside. The woman's determination to draw my attention was unnerving. Despite the fear gripping me, curiosity led me back to the window. There she was, still fixated on me, motioning with an insistence that sent chills down my spine. Her subsequent move to the front door, the repeated knocking, it all unfolded like a scene from a horror film. Only this was all too real. The relief I felt as she finally drove away was immense. I was left with a haunting array of questions and no answers. The morning conversation with my parents offered no solace, just shared confusion and concern. In a contrasting scene just last year, my wife and I hosted friends for New Year's Eve. Our house, set amidst a spacious yard in the country, was filled with the sounds of laughter and chatter. After celebrating outside with champagne at midnight, the evening wound down leaving us to tidy up after our guests departed. As I finished in the kitchen, the quiet of the house was broken by what I believed was the sound of my wife in the hallway. But when I called out and received no answer, a fleeting sense of unease brushed over me. Climbing the stairs to bed, I dismissed it as tiredness playing tricks on my senses. However, as we lay in the quiet of our room, my wife's voice pierced the silence, inquiring about footsteps she heard downstairs. The faint noise she described was just discernible to me, a subtle but unmistakable sound that suggested we were not alone. The tranquility of our home had been breached, leaving us to face the unknown lurking in the shadows of our own home. The tension escalated as I heard the unmistakable sound of footsteps ascending the stairs toward our bedroom. In a flurry of fear and quick thinking, my wife and I secured ourselves in the ensuite bathroom, dialing 911 as the intruder's presence became increasingly ominous. The banging on the bedroom door sent waves of panic through us. Despite the terror, we remained as silent as possible, hoping against hope that the door would hold. 
the sounds of struggle and shouting filled the house as the police arrived. Yet we dared not leave our haven until it was absolutely clear. Finally, the authoritative voice of the officers signaled safety. They had apprehended the man, a stranger to us, lurking within our home. The shock of having an intruder, the relief of police intervention, and the aftermath of such a violation of our sanctuary left us shaken. The night's supposed celebration had turned into a harrowing ordeal, a stark reminder of the vulnerability that can come even within the walls of our own home. The tension escalated as I heard the unmistakable sound of footsteps ascending the stairs toward our bedroom. In a flurry of fear and quick thinking, my wife and I secured ourselves in the ensuite bathroom, dialing 911 as the intruder's presence became increasingly ominous. The banging on the bedroom door sent waves of panic through us. Despite the terror, we remained as silent as possible, hoping against hope that the door would hold. The sounds of struggle and shouting filled the house as the police arrived, yet we dared not leave our haven until it was absolutely clear. Finally, the authoritative voice of the officers signaled safety. They had apprehended the man, a stranger to us, lurking within our home. The shock of having an intruder, the relief of police intervention, and the aftermath of such a violation of our sanctuary left us shaken. The night's supposed celebration had turned into a harrowing ordeal, a stark reminder of the vulnerability that can come even within the walls of our own home. The intruder had cunningly seized the opportunity to enter our home during the brief moments we were outside celebrating. His intentions, unclear but undoubtedly sinister, were thwarted by the timely arrival of the police. The confrontation was tense. His threats and claims of possessing a weapon escalated the situation although thankfully, he was unarmed. The subsequent discovery that the man was likely under the influence of drugs did little to assuage the shock of the incident. His presence had violated the safety and sanctity of our home, leaving behind not just physical disarray, but a lingering sense of what might have been. As we processed the events of that night, the realization that we had unknowingly shared our space with a hidden stranger sent chills down our spines. It was, undoubtedly, the most unsettling and bizarre New Year's Eve we had ever experienced. A story that we would recount in the years to come with a sense of disbelief and relief that it hadn't ended worse. As the clock strikes midnight on New Year's Eve, we often anticipate a moment of joy, celebration, and the promise of a fresh start. Yet, these stories remind us that amidst the revelry and countdowns, unexpected and chilling events can unfold, leaving behind memories that linger far longer than the confetti and cheers. Whether it's the unnerving pursuit by a stranger the mysterious figure in the yard, or the hidden danger lurking within one's own home. These tales highlight the unpredictable nature of our world and the importance of vigilance and safety. They serve as a testament to the resilience of those who have faced such fears and a reminder to all of us to cherish the peace and security we may often take for granted. As we move forward into new beginnings, let us carry the lessons of these stories with us, to be cautious, to look out for one another, and to approach each new year with hope, but also with an awareness of the uncertainties that life may bring. May the coming years be filled with happiness, safety, 
and tales of joy rather than fear. Happy New Year to all, and may it be truly peaceful and joyous.